Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this colorful shiny chrome look in Blender. You can use it on logos or text, whatever you want. It looks very amazing and it's very easy to create. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in Blender and before we proceed, at this corner you will get all the keys that I'm pressing on my keyboard in case I forget to mention anything. So let's begin by selecting everything. So I'm going to press A then X to delete everything. Now I'm going to import my logo, which is in SVG format, but it's completely up to you. You can add text or any mesh or object, whatever you want. This technique will work on everything. So let me just quickly go under the file and let's import my vector file. So I'm going to use this Adidas logo. Just click on this and let's import it. So right away, you can see we are able to see our logo and it's quite small. So you can see that it is divided into a bunch of different pieces. So our first step is to combine everything. So I'm going to select all of them and then you can press Ctrl J to join them. Now let's quickly align our logo in the center. But first let's move the origin point. So I'm going to select the logo and you can right click, go to set origin and let's move the origin to the geometry. And after that, we can select the logo. You can press Shift S and let's move the logo to the center just like that. So now we can select this, press S to scale this up quite a bit. Now I'm going to press R X to rotate it along the X axis by 90 degree. And right now it has a black material. So I'm going to first get rid of it. So let's just click on this. So first let's add some 3D depth to this. So let's select this, go under the curves. And from here, let's open up geometry and let's increase the extrude and you can set this to something like 0 0.009 or whatever you want and i think this looks good so once you're done with this we can select this and let's go under the modifier we're going to apply a couple of modifiers on this so let's apply decimate and on this one we are going to change this to planar rest of the things will remain same and right now our logo is still in the form of curves so i'm going to convert this to mesh so in order to do that just select your logo and go to object let's go to convert and let's convert this into a mesh now our logo is in the form of a mesh so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue and we are going to change a couple of settings so first let's add a modifier and i'm going to remesh this so let's apply the remesh onto this and i'm going to change this to smooth and we are going to add some inflate kind of look in order to get the desired result so let's set this to something like nine and after that make sure that this option is unchecked otherwise you won't be able to see the full logo and here you can see that now the edges are not that sharp which is exactly what we want so let's apply this so i'm going to just apply this one and after that i'm going to add another modifier let's go and let's add the smooth corrective and over here first i'm going to set the factor to one repeat i'm going to set this to 100 and after that let's enable the only smooth and now you can see that we have made our logo little bit bubbly and this is exactly what we want because we want the edges to reflect all the colors from our environment so this is exactly what we want let's select this right click and i'm going to just quickly shade it smooth and you are pretty much done with your logo so let's add a background so shift a we'll go to mesh and let's add a plane let's press r x 90 degree and i'm going to just g y and let's move it behind somewhere around here and let's scale this up so s to scale this something like this and after that let's scale this logo because it's quite small and let's press ctrl a to apply all the transforms and our next step is to add some materials to this so let me just quickly open this up and let's go under the materials shader editor and let's change the rendering from solid to viewport shading something like this now i'm going to first select the background which is this plane and let's add a material let's quickly call this black so on this one we are going to just apply the black color but it's completely up to you you can pick whatever color you want let's disable the specular we don't want any kind of highlights onto this so you can see that this is completely black but if you want you can just add colors to this however you want according to your scene and now let's select our logo and on this one we are going to create another material so just click on new make sure that use nodes is check 
and let's call this chrome and after that we are going to first make this completely metallic so enable this on roughness i'm going to set this to 0.1 so you can see that now we have this very metallic sort of and if you want you can play around with its color you can make it darker or brighter however you want so for this example i'm going to just set this to something like this and we are pretty much done with our logo now to get the colorful effect we are going to add some colors into the environment and those will be reflected inside our logo so for that we can switch this from object to world mode and before we edit over here, let's change a couple of the settings. So I'm going to go under the rendering engine. Now you can use EV, but this effect looks better in cycles. So you can use cycles as well. So let's set this to GPU compute. Now we are ready to switch this to the rendering tab and let's create our environment. So we have the output, we have the background color. So we need the environment texture. So press shift A, let's search for environment texture and let's enable this and let's plug the color into the color and right away you can see that it turns everything into pink because we don't have any image selected and let's add other nodes so select this press shift a and we are going to search for mapping and let's drag this here and let's plug the vector into the vector and we are going to add another node so let's search for texture coordinates and let's enable this up so I'm going to plug the generated into the first one and the rest of the things will remain same. Now let's quickly add the texture into our environment texture by going to the open. And here you can see that I've already downloaded a couple of these textures from unsplash.com. If you want these, then just simply go to unsplash and after that you can search for colorful and it will give you a bunch of different results. So you can pick whatever you want. You can pick something like this all these images which have very bright colors so these will look best in the example something like this and after that you can just download them so once you are done with this just select whatever texture you want and just click on open and right away you can see we are able to see colors in our logo which is exactly what we want now if you want you can play around with the strength to make this brighter or darker however you want but for this one let's set this to one for now also, if you want, you can play around with these mapping and you can just animate this or rotate however you want. You can change the scales to get different kind of looks. You can just rotate the environment, something like this, and everything will give you different results. For this one, let's scale this down. So I'm going to set this to 0.2 on all the axes, something like this. So yeah, I think this one is looking better. If you want, you can play around with the Z rotation to get different colors. But for this one, let's stick with this. And we are pretty much done with our scene. Let's add some bright highlights. So in order to do that, press shift A. Let's add a light. Go to light. Let's add an area light. And I'm going to press G, Z. And let's move this to somewhere around here. Let's press S to scale this up. And after that, you can go under the light settings. And let's increase the power to something like 100 or maybe 200. And after that, you can play around with its position. You can move this to the top or side, however you want, wherever you want the highlights, something like this. For this one, let's take this to the top and just play around with the intensity to make this brighter. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. So here you can see we have our logo. Let's quickly add our camera. So shift A, let's add a camera and press zero, numpad zero on keyboard to go inside the camera. Let's press N. And let's set this X to C 90, Y and Z both to zero. And after that, you can move it along the Y axis to see your logo just like this. And let's move our camera to make this to the center just like that. Now, if you want, you can just play around with the camera and you can just do some animations to get different kind of results. So we are pretty much done with this. And before you render this out, let's create a couple of the settings. So let's go under the render options. And from here, make sure the max sample is set to something like 64 or whatever you want, depending upon your PC. Make sure that denoise is checked. And once you're done with this, you can press F12 to render this out. There you go. Now we have rendered our logo. And if you want to add some glow to this, you can do that. So for that, let's go under the compositing tab. 
make sure use nodes is selected and let's move this over here and this one over here let's press shift a and i'm going to first add a viewer so let's add a viewer let's place it over here and let's plug the image to the image to see what we are doing after that we can add shift a and let's add a glare node and let's just plug this over here and make sure that this viewer is also plugged into the glare something like this and right away you can see we are getting some really nice streaks now if you want you can play around with these settings you can lower down these streaks by increasing the threshold to something like this and you can play around with the iteration streaks number of streaks whatever you want you can also change the streak type from this to ghost or you can go with the fog glow to get some really nice glowing and you can just lower this down to get some really nice glowing over here so in this way you can create some colorful shiny chrome effect onto your logos or text whatever you want you can also add some animation to your camera and get some really nice results something like this so that's it for this tutorial and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one